Hi, I'm Nick Komen from Dragonfly Dye Works. I'm from Los Angeles and I do custom clothing and hand-dyed fabric. I'm here today to show you how to sew an elastic waistband without a casing. It lays flatter against your body, there's no seam allowance to get in the way, and it gives you a much more bulk-free wearing. It's very easy to do, and it looks very clean. You have a row of stitching on the inside with the elastic, and one piece of stitching on the outside. So let's get started. I use elastic that's either roll or non-roll, and you can go from a very narrow width, this one's about, oh, say, a quarter of an inch wide, all the way up to an inch and a half wide. And either of those, and anything in between, will work for this particular application. Now let's talk about how much elastic to put around your waist. Oftentimes it'll tell you in the patterns how much elastic to cut, but I think doing it to a personal measurement is much better. So what you're going to do is you're going to first stretch the elastic to get a little bit of stretch into it because that's going to get a little bit of the stiffness out of it that comes right off the bolt. Then you're going to loop the elastic around your waist so that it's snug but not too tight. And then you're going to mark where the end of the elastic comes to the other piece. And you're going to go back a couple of inches, about two, and snip that elastic off. Now you have a piece of elastic that is custom made to your waistline. Now what we're going to do is we're going to sew it onto the fabric. You can do this in the flat or you can do this in the round. If you start with a flat piece like I have here, you're going to put the piece of elastic onto the fabric at the very edge and move the end a little bit into the seam allowance. If you're going to be doing this in the round, you're going to join these two ends together first by stitching across them several times. This will be the back of your garment. So we're going to just go ahead and pin this. Now the secret to this particular technique is not using too many pins. What we're going to do is pretend that we have a waist notch marked, and we're going to scooch this over here. You're going to divide your elastic into, I usually do quarters, and you're going to divide your garment into quarters. And then you're going to match the quarter marks around the circumference of your garment. Then you should be able to stretch the elastic all the way out, and the fabric should stretch all the way out with it. If you don't have enough elastic for the amount of fabric you have, you may have to go up on the elastic or see if there's a little extra ease that you can take out of the waist of your garment. So let's stitch. Now I know this is going to be uncomfortable for a lot of you, stitching without pins, but it's easy, really. For the first step, I'm going to get my elastic under my presser foot and then I'm going to switch my machine to a zigzag stitch. If you have a serger, you can do the same thing. I'm going to make it about two and a half millimeters wide. So that's about a two and a half on your dial. What you want to do is you want to cover about half the elastic. That's a good thing. So to start, I'm going to turn my hand wheel so that it actually ends up with the needle in the elastic. And in the down position, I'm going to increase my stitch width just a touch. I'm going to hold my fabric at the pin, and I'm going to stretch this back. I'm going to grab it with my left hand and grab right in the middle here, because you don't want to try and sew too much at once. So you're going to grab in the middle, and then use this hand to help guide, and then when it comes out the other end, you're going to grab it. So let's start here, find my foot pedal, and I'm going to stitch. I'm going to take my pin out, 
and I've got my thread tails back here and I'm just going to start stitching. Now you can see my needle is going to go off the edge of the elastic and I have the fabric just about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch along here and I'm going to stitch and you might be able to see this, my needle is just barely going over the edge of that elastic. And see how I'm holding in back and holding in front? That's keeping a tension on my elastic so that it maintains the stretch. Reposition our hands. So see, they're going to just do that all the way around. So we're just going to go to the pin. So when we take it out from under the presser foot, it's going to look like this. And then when we turn it over, it's going to look like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and do the second pass. First, we're going to flip this over. And if you have started with the elastic in the seam allowance, you're going to make sure that you leave the seam allowance free when you're stitching this. So I'm going to go back to a straight stitch now. Most of you have probably heard you want to use a zigzag when you're using elastic so that you don't pop the stitches. But we're going to stretch this stitch again so that when you let loose of it, it's going to come in on itself and it'll give a little bit of ease so that when it is actually stretched out, it's the original way you sewed it and it's not going to pop those stitches. So we're going to go back to a straight stitch. There we are. I'm going to increase my stitch width. We folded this over exactly on itself and we use the elastic for the width of the seam allowance. Get this under here, drop your presser foot, grab your thread tails once again, and I'm going to pull in back with the thread tails and then I'm going to pull in front with the elastic. I'm trying to run right down the center of that zigzag. Now, you might get a little bump right out here, and what you do is you just take the fabric and give it a tug, and that's going to get rid of any excess you have at the top. Now, you have a wonderfully stitched waistband that will lay flat against your body and not have any bulk from a seam. Your last step is to take this to an ironing board. You don't want to put the iron down on the elastic itself. You want to just hold it right over there and give it a really heavy shot of steam. It's going to just shrink right up back to its normal size. So I hope this has helped and good luck with your new waistband elastic application. <laughs>